My name's Steve Batchel and I'm an ambassador for Keep Britain Tidy and the Great British Spring Clean. I guess the thing about litter is it seems to be something that's not necessarily that big a problem. It's very easy just to drop a crisp packet and then think, it's not really hurting anyone, is it? It's not really that big an issue. But as someone that works in the outdoors, in nature and with wildlife, I can tell you it can be a very, very big problem indeed. I've seen hedgehogs with their heads buried in polystyrene cups. I've seen countless birds, swans, ducks, tangled up in, in bits of plastic. That though is only the beginning of the story because eventually rubbish will sweep into storm drains, it'll head into the rivers, into lakes, and some of it gets flushed out to sea. And the second that happens, it becomes a global problem. Plastic bottles may take 600 years to degrade when they're out in the ocean, which pretty well is as good as never. And I have stood on beaches in the Pacific with bottles that have actually come from here in the UK and have just been circling around the world and will continue to circle for hundreds of years. I've been unlucky enough to see leatherback turtles, which mostly feed on jellyfish, with their throats choked by plastic bags which they've mistaken for food. I've had the unfortunate circumstance of having to catch seals and sea lions and pin them down to tear off the plastic that's been choking them, digging right down through their blubber and their flesh. Otters that have been choked by pieces of plastic they've mistaken for food. Ducks entangled in aluminium cans. Probably the, the worst offender of all are those links that you get for, for cans of drink and cans of beer. They are pretty much indestructible. Once one of those tangles around an animal's neck, it is not going to break. And eventually, there is no doubt, it is going to cause death. So all of this can be absolutely calamitous to nature. These tiny things that we don't even think about can have catastrophic effects on some of the animals that we value most. And that's why I'm getting behind Keep Britain Tidy and the Great British Spring Clean. 